была тренировка. in this room that you are showing to us now means a lot not just to me to the, to the band but also to my whole crew there's hundreds of us putting this thing together and they work incredibly hard and they will be feeling this now and it means a huge amount to every single one of this big family Introduce you to them all because we'd be here till next Friday. What day is it? What day is it? Anybody any idea? Sunday. Yeah, we'd be here till Friday or Saturday next week. <coughs> oh, it would be fun. You know, we could break out the good vodka and we could all have a bit of a party <laughs> for a week. But I can introduce you to the band, so I'm going to do that now. Playing lead guitar, Dave Kilminster. organ and piano and synthesizers just there uh, behind Dave. Mr. Poe Costa. also playing keyboards but playing guitars and that wonderful slide guitar um, as well a very old friend and long time colleague of mine Mr. John Carrick Okay, over here on the stage left, there are three guys who helped me make uh, the last record I made a couple of years ago. Is this the life we really won? And uh, it was so much fun and, uh, working with these great musicians that I asked them to come on the road, and they did. So this is our first tour together. I hope it won't be the last. They're all wonderful musicians. First here, playing the bass and playing guitars, Gus Seifert. Great musician and very, very lucky with the dice at backgammon. Anyway, we won't go further down that rabbit hole. Next to Gus, playing the drums, the legendary Joey Warrenka.
Every proper rock and roll band should have at least one hippie. <coughs> Preferably more than one. We do have one. He's in front of Joey. He's playing lead guitar, singing all the lead vocals. He's from Southern California. Mr. Peace and Love, Jonathan Wilson. Tension has always been that every band, every proper band, should also have at least one Scotsman in it, a Scottish person. So we have one of those. He's another very old friend of mine. We've been working together for, I, I dread to think how many years, but many, many. He, this man actually produced one of my solo albums. It's called Radio Chaos. Some of you may know it. This is, well, I'll tell you his name in a minute, but he's the producer of Radio Chaos. So it, Ladies and gentlemen, free north of the border, free Bonnie Scotland playing the tenor saxophone, Mr. Ian Ritchie. From the indie band, Lucius, the adorable, incomparable, beautiful, and unbelievably talented, Jess Wolf and Holly Nessie. 